for information you can find historically on the area or the individuals. You know, is there anything in your past that might make sense to this? You know, because now you've got enough usually information to, to figure it out, but but we do eight hour investigations at a, at a residence. So right, we're right. spending a lot of time there, and that's a lot of a lot of data. I like to call it to go over audio, video, everything. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of it. At least we can kind of figure it out within that time frame. Um, and a lot of people don't realize a lot of it's just dead silence and boredom. <laughs> yes, it is. Until so the one thing comes through, one one or two things come through. It's like, oh, oh, what's that? You know, what's that? Hey, um, well, go ahead. I was going to say, what was that? Yeah, I, I, I know that I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, people think, yeah, oh, there's yeah. something happening all the time, but you know, a lot of times. No. You might sit there for hours and, you, you know, you might see a piece of dust and think, oh, was that on a word? No, it's just a piece of dust. <laughs> <laughs> just a piece of dust. That's right. That's right. Uh, oh, it's a fighter. Uh, or the, uh, you know. or, yeah. Oh, that was my stomach growling, you know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that um, big, big spider, you know, set off one of them yeah. motion, motion yeah. detectors and everybody jumps up and no, right. just, right. just I will, Right. I will say I will say this to people. I, I've learned over the years. Some good friends of mine told me this a long time when I first started. But as far as EVPs go, unless I can really hear what it's saying, um, I'll I'll just kind of dump it. I, I, I will. The most I will do to anything now is just boost the volume. If I can't tell that there's something there just by boosting the volume, I won't waste the time trying to filter it out, trying to do this, trying to do that. I just won't do it anymore. I'd rather, if I can hear it, I can hear it. Because if yeah. I want to present this as evidence to somebody, then I want to be able to know I can say 100% or as close to 100% as possible that I know what this is. Well, what'd you do to it? Nothing. I boosted the volume. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm the exact same you know. way. If, if you can't hear it, and I, if I have to do something to it, it's not worth it. Just let it go. That, that, that's right. That's right. Just let it go. I mean, because I've heard stuff from people, and I used to be the same way. I was like, ooh, listen to this. You hear that knock noise? Nobody knocked at that time. And maybe that's true, but what does it mean? I don't know what it means. It doesn't mean anything. I don't right. Knock noise. I don't know what caused it. Maybe, right? maybe, uh, maybe it's the water it was, pipe. If it was a response to a knock thing you did, that'd be interesting. That's interesting, yeah. Um, if it's if it knocks a response, consistent knocks a response to questions, that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I've had stuff before that couldn't tell what it was knocking, and it turned out to be uh, Morse code. Nobody oh, wow. was knocking, and it was, it was Morse code from um, a from a was, from as from a spirit. A spirit. Yep. Oh, yep. oh wow! And then when I looked up the code, it made sense. It was actually I don't know if you want to say Morse code, but it was it was Morse code because it gave it. I wrote it down, and then I looked up the Morse code stuff, and it was numbers. And this actually took place at a uh, a uh, firehouse, right? And the uh, the numbers that were coming through, kept coming through the same numbers again and again, was to a code for suicide. Oh, my. And there was a, a guy there that committed suicide. Wow. Oh, so you, you confirmed it, too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, my. yeah, they told us a story about uh, the one fireman that committed suicide as a younger fellow. Oh, and wow. uh, so I kind of knew that, but then we didn't know that. I mean, I didn't know what was coming through that night. I didn't I go back home, listen to all that, and then look it up, and I'm like, holy oh, shit, that's their call sign. It's And the funny thing, it's a call sign in that area, not not just worldwide, but in that, that in county the, right. of that Massachusetts for suicide. So that's that pretty much validates uh, that in a couple of ways, what, what yeah. you were doing. Hey, yeah. Jack, I, yeah. uh, I hate to say it, unfortunately, we're about out of time. Yeah, yeah I oh know. Goodness. I know it. Your fault went too fast. But hey, <laughs> hey, listen. listen uh, I'm going to give you a few minutes here to share, promote uh, any of your books or your websites, whatever you want to do, your TV shows. Absolutely. Go right ahead, yep. buddy. Yep. All right. Well, if uh, actually you got a ton of events coming up, all kinds of things going on. But the best way to check out uh, what my latest events are, just go to jackkenna.org. That's jackkenna.org. J A C K K E N N A dot O R G. And you can look up all my events and anything else I get going on there. Um, uh, my books, I've got uh, Haunting Ghosts and Demons and Paranormal Research, as well as my graphic novel, Spirits of Forgotten Souls of Bay Path. All of those are available on Amazon.com. Just put in my name, Jack Kenna, and it will do a search for that and it'll pull up all my books. 
Uh, you can check them all out. They're doing very well out there, so check them out. Uh, what's my next upcoming event? Uh, is actually, uh, I'll give you this one quick. I gotta look it up myself. I got so many. You got um, time? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, oh, okay, okay. I got a few minutes here. Okay, so next upcoming event is uh, Historic Palmyra. Oh, this is a good one. This is a fundraiser event we're doing for uh, the uh, museums out at Historic Palmyra, New York. Uh, that'll be uh, Saturday, May 18th, 2019. Uh, from 5 to 7 p.m., we're doing a lecture, and then 8 p.m. to midnight uh, is an investigation of two of the historical locations there. Um Get your tickets. You can go online to get your tickets. Uh, yeah, you can get them. Just click the link through through my website, jackkenna.org, under the events page, and uh, get your tickets there. It, all the money is going to uh, the fundraiser for the the historical museums there. Um, then uh, June 1st uh, will be Fort Mifflin event. Uh, or, yeah, June 1st, Fort Mifflin. Uh, June, what was the other one? June 8th. Yeah, June 7th and 8th, uh, actually it's the night of the 7th, Friday, is the Lizzie Borden House in, uh, uh, in Massachusetts. So we'll be having an event there. And all those are on the on the website. You can go check all those out. Join us. Come on out. Sounds Hang fun. I, I used to live around the corner from Lizzie Borden House. Been there a few times. Oh, yes. ah, there you go. Yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's a cool place. It's a pretty, pretty cool place. And so we'll be, spending the whole, we'll be spending the whole night. We've got access to the whole house that night. So. They, they used to call it Fall Reeve. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right, that's right. Fall Reeve. Uh, awesome. uh, yeah, uh, anyway, yeah, I get hey, it. I get it. Yeah. Hey, Jack, man, I appreciate you coming on, man. You're a great guest. Thank you. Uh, you're a decent person. Keep on keeping up the good Thank work, you, buddy. And, uh, you too, hey, I'll, I'll see you around the paranormal field, I'm sure. So have a great you night, Jack. It. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Uh, thanks for having me. It was an honor. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, everyone. I'm just here to let you know that. Hey, um, you know, donate if you would like to uh, check out our website www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. Go in there, check out the pictures, our upcoming guests, uh, future shows. Uh, also, you can. Uh, Click on a donation. You can donate a buck or two. It helps pay for the bandwidth, so it, uh, free advertisement. Not to charge. All the shows are free to listen to. We have 200 plus shows on there. You can listen to mine, Gary Anderson shows. Uh, he's on uh, Monday through Friday, seven o'clock Pacific time. All kind of great. He's got great guests too. And like I say, get in there, donate a buck or two. It helps pay for the bandwidth. And listen to this: if you donate twenty dollars or more, leave your name and, and, and your address. You will receive a free book on the paranormal. Just uh, specify what part of the paranormal you like, whether it's Bigfoot or UFOs or abductions or spirits, whatever it is. And you will get a free, brand new book sent to you just for donating $20. And and, and that's that's a pretty good deal. I mean, them books are 20, 25 bucks to begin with, uh, brand new to buy them. Also, I want to say that my guest for next week will be... Uh, King Ger- Gerhard, King Gerhard, he's a cryptozoologist and uh, he's in the paranormal field. He's on a uh, new TV show, Monster, uh, Searching for Monsters, I believe it is, on Travel Channel. He's going to be a great guest. He's been in the field for a while, so that ought to be interesting. That's next Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on uh, www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. And, you know... It, Honestly, you need to get in there and check out the website. All kind of pictures we've got, uh, upcoming guests, uh, two hundred plus shows. I mean, I mean, it covers all aspects of paranormal, all aspects from UFOs to abductions, Bigfoots, cryptids, spirits, ghost hunters, mediums. Got it all covered. Everything, even conspiracies too. Also, so it's worth checking out. Oh, let's see what else we're gonna do. Um, and uh, I gotta tell you that man, I got a lot of great guests coming up for uh, May and June, actually. And they're going to be covering again. I cover all things: cryptids, uh, Bigfoots, aliens, abductions, conspiracies. Going to cover it all. Going to cover it all. And I'm actually uh, going to try to get some people who's been abducted too. Maybe tell their stories, and uh, those ought to be interesting. I know I, I sure wouldn't want to be one of them people. My goodness. 
what's your thoughts on that? What's your thoughts on this disclosure stuff too that's coming out? I, I mean, it's people keep talking about, it, but I, I, I don't. It hasn't come out yet. I'm still waiting. Of course, I've been hearing that for I don't know four years. <laughs> They're talking about disclosure, but haven't heard it yet. What's your thoughts on that? Let me know. And then there's all these humanoid, uh, flying humanoid sightings, Mothmans, and all that stuff. So I'm going to have guests talking about that. I'm sure Ken's got some good uh, information about that. Next week we'll be talking about Mothman and humanoid, uh, winged humanoids. Those are always those always get my attention. And there's been a lot of those in the last three to four months within uh, Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, Illinois area, even Pennsylvania, West Virginia. A lot of sightings, a lot of them, from Mothman to these winged humanoids. I don't know what they are or what's going on, where they're coming from. I'm going to try to find out, try to bring people on that may know, and maybe we can get some answers. You know, I, I don't. I hope so. I would, I would like to know what's going on. I sure wouldn't want to see one of those on one of them dark roads I go down once in a while. I, I have seen these shadow figures. Uh, but, yeah, listen, you get a chance to check out the website. Uh, www.nightdreamstalkradio.com and check out the pictures, check out the calendar. We've got featured guests. You can see who's coming on. Great guests. I mean, great guests. Great shows. There's over 200 some shows on there covering all aspects of it. And hey, if you get a chance, donate a buck or two. It helps pay for the bandwidth. Again, if you donate $20 or more, you will get a free uh, uh, book sent to you covering any aspect of the paranormal that you know that you prefer, whether it be Bigfoot, aliens, UFOs, cryptids, whatever, whatever, or spirits, whatever it is, just let us know, and you will get it for a $20 donation. Also, uh, check out uh, Gary Anderson's show, Monday through Friday. His show starts at 7 o'clock Pacific time, and he's got, I mean, tell you, his, his lineup for May is, it is awesome. He's got some great guests coming up, absolutely great guests. Great guest. And, again, my guest next week will be Ken Gerhard. I've also got uh, Kenley Park coming on. I've got Steve Myers. He's going to be coming on, one of my guests. Lyle Blackwood, he's going to be one of my guests. I, I know that he's a well-known name. You know, uh, Irena Scott, she's going to be one of my guests. She's uh, into the UFOs and abductions and stuff, very credible. I'm into MUFON and, and, uh, from Ohio State University. Yeah, uh, Patrick Cross. I've got a whole list of good guests coming on. So make sure I will list those. Make sure you go to our website, www.nightdreamstalkradio.com, and go to my group uh, my um, my group page for my show. You can go in there, uh, Saturday uh, Night Dreams After Dark, Saturday edition, James Creechbaum host. You can go in there and check out my um, guest, my featured guest, and all my shows are in there, plus any shows. Actually, if you tap into to the website, you can watch it. Or not watch, but listen to any of the shows. And this is Facebook Live. I've been going toward the end of the show. And, you know, next week I'll be doing the same thing. About the last half hour of the show, we'll go Facebook Live, talk to the guests, and see what's going on with them. And, and uh, Jack was a great guest. I know Jack's been around a while, but you guys have seen a lot and done a lot, I'll tell you that. Oh, boy. I've seen and done a lot, too, but... Uh, Never had one follow me home and cause me a wreck. That was an incredible story. My goodness. He's lucky to be alive. <laughs> He's lucky to be alive from that one. Yeah. When spirit causes you to have a wreck, I know. believe me, I've been driving a scene. I've seen uh, shadow people walk across the road. That that I got to tell you, I don't have much hair, but it stands up when, I, when you see them, uh, you know, at 3 in the morning in the middle of nowhere in Bigfoot country on a dirt road that's wide enough just for your car and you... You know, the moon's shining, you got a couple of black shadows coming across the road. You get your attention real quick. That's for sure. That is for sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, I, I really want to thank everybody for tuning in. And next week, again, Ken Gerhard, man, he's going to be a great guest. He's in the cryptozoology. He's on that new show, um, Searching for Monsters, I believe it's called, on Travel Channel. And he's got... A, well-versed backfield in uh, cryptozoology. He's been in paranormal field for, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 years or so probably. I mean, really. So he's very well-versed, very educated. It's going to be a great show with him on there. i got a lot of questions I can't wait to ask him. 
I'm sure you got a great question too to ask if you get on uh, speaker one of the speaker apps. You can ask questions, at, at, you know, as the show's going on. We can ask him. You can ask him questions. And again, I just want to say 